Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to display lines of code of a programming language in your blogger post. So let's get started. Here I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website and uh, let's create a new post and uh, let's see what happens when we add lines of code to our post and uh, here we'll just give some title now let me just copy and paste some programming language code over here so here I already have a project opened and this is a JavaScript file so let's copy this JavaScript code from here and uh, I'm here in the HTML view so let's go ahead and paste the code right here and uh, let's add a sentence before that We'll just type copy the following code. Alright, now let's go ahead and click on publish. And let's see how it looks right now. So here's our post and uh, we can see this is our code and uh, it is not easy to understand and it doesn't even look nice. So let's take this one step higher and uh, let's use a tag called pre and code inside our uh, HTML. So let's go to our post and uh, let's go back to HTML view and now for our uh, code I'll create a tag called pre and in that we'll create a tag called code and we'll close these tags over here after the code so we'll type lesser than forward slash code and uh, lesser than forward slash pre so this is how you add code in your HTML uh, document. So let's go ahead and click on update. And uh, let's refresh our page. And now here we can see that the code looks better and it is easier to understand. Now let's take this a step higher and uh, we will use a library called highlight to make this code look even better. So using the highlight JS library you can add color schemes to your code so that it will look just like this here in our code editor. So for that let's go to the official website of HighlightJS which is HighlightJS.org and if you go to the home page we can see that we have a demo over here. You can see that it has a lot of languages. In fact it has 189 languages and 95 styles. You can click on these languages and select different code and uh, you can see how it looks. You can also select styles from here. So these are the different styles that are in this library. And you can click on these uh, styles and see how it looks. Now let's see how to add this to our website. So let's click on get version and uh, here we have different options you can download the library and uh, you can host it on your own server but right now since we are using the blogger platform we have to use uh, this CDN so let's copy uh, this CDN from here so the first thing you need to have is uh, a style for your highlight JS library for now we'll just select the default one so let's copy this uh, link from here and uh, let's go to our uh, dashboard let's go back and uh, let's click on theme and then click on this arrow next to customize and uh, we'll click on edit HTML and uh, we will add our link over here in the head tag so this is the head tag and uh, in that we can add the link so we will just copy this right here and uh, we will add a forward slash over here Alright, that's it with the link of our uh, style. Now we also need to copy the link of uh, the highlight.js library. So let's copy this script tag from here. And uh, we'll go to the end of our theme code. And uh, here we can see that just before the body ends, we will paste this line of code. And we have added our highlight.js JavaScript link and also the CSS link. Now you need to initialize the library on the page. So for that let's call a function. So just create a script tag and here we'll tap hljs that is highlight.js and we'll tap init highlighting on load 
So you have to call this method called init highlighting on load for the highlighting to work. All right, so now that we have added all of these, let's go ahead and click on save. And let's go to our page and let's refresh our page. And now we can see that the highlight.js library is working. And the good thing about this library is that it automatically recognizes the language of the code and it sets the color scheme according to the language. And if for some reason it doesn't recognize the language, then you can add a class with the name of the language and uh, it will recognize it. Now we have added the default styling for highlight.js. So this is how it looks for the default styling. Now let's go to a website called JS Deliver and uh, let's search for highlight.js and here we can find the CDN link for the other styles as well. So we'll just type highlight and uh, just select highlight.js. And uh, in that you have to go to this option called styles. And here we can see all the styles inside highlight.js. So you can click on show all and you can see all these styles over here. Now you can select any of these and add it to your website. So let's select this one called railcasts. And to copy that, just click on this button and click on copy HTML. And let's go to our theme source code and let's go to the top where we have added the default styles. So let's delete this and add the new styles over here and let's click on save. All right, we need to end this with forward slash. All right, click on save once again. Now let's go ahead and refresh our page. And we can see that the new style has been added to our code. The programming language of this code is JavaScript and it was automatically recognized by highlight.js. Now let's add some more code and see whether it recognizes it. So let's go back and uh, let's go to posts and click on coding tutorial. Let's add some more languages and see whether it works. Let's add some CSS. So we'll go to style.css. We'll just copy some CSS from here and let's add the pre and the code tags and copy the styles over here and then end the code and the pre tags. All right, let's click on update and uh, see whether it recognizes the language. So refresh and now we can see that the CSS is being recognized and everything is working all right. Now you'll face some problems if you add HTML code to your post. So let's try that and I'll show you how to solve that problem. So let's add some HTML from here. We'll just copy this and paste it over here and just close the code and the pre tags and let's click on update and let's refresh our page. And we can see that JavaScript and CSS is working all right, but in the HTML, we have some problems. So here we can see that we have written H2 for the heading tag, but it is not as it is being displayed on our post. We directly have the heading over here. And so here we can see that when you add HTML to your post, it doesn't work well. So for that, you have to use a tool called HTML Entities Encoder. So you can just search for that on Google. So just search for HTML entities encoder and you can find a lot of websites. You can go to any of these websites. I'll just select the first one. All right now let's paste our HTML code right here. So I'll just copy this and paste it over here and uh, also select this option called allow named character references in output. And now we can copy this code from here. So select this and uh, copy it from here and let's paste this instead of the current HTML. All right, now let's see whether it works. So click on update and let's refresh our page. And now we can see that the HTML is working all right and we don't have any issues with the code. Now, if you want to add line numbers to your source code, the highlight.js library doesn't have it by default. So for that, you can use another library which works well with highlight.js. So let's search for highlight line numbers. 
So this is the library right here by W Coder. Just go to that and just copy this link from here. So click on that and click on copy HTML and let's go to our theme and we'll click on this arrow next to customize and click on edit HTML. And let's go to the end of our theme code and let's paste the line of code over here. Now for the line numbers to work, we also need to call another method. So we'll just type hljs and the method is called init line numbers on load so just type this line of code and then click on save and now let's refresh our page and see whether we have the line numbers and now we can see that line numbers are being displayed and everything is working all right so this is basically how you display lines of code of a programming language in your blogger post. So that's basically it for this video. If you like this video, please click on the like button. And if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.